Hello, 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 everybody. Hi. So, tonight is Flower Bride. Oh, yeah. Doing some dresses, doing some flowers, doing all sorts of fun stuff. So, my name is Eve. This is Eve's Creations Paint Party. And hello, hello, hello. Say hello if you're painting with me tonight. Let me know if anyone's painting with you with me tonight. And, uh, you know, the fans all here. We got to give props to you know who. He's lounging. Hey, Butters. <laughs> He's not having a good day. <laughs> He's, uh, <laughs> they're, they're testing at the, uh, I'm right by a, a Navy base, and they're testing their, their uh, boom booms, and he don't like the boom booms, so he's, get, he's getting some downtime right now. Let me show you my handy-dandy table. So, we have the same colors every single party. White, yellow, blue, red, and black. The weapons this evening is Big Boy. He is a one-inch flat. We have a tiny in the house. He is a small round. And a mini-me. He looks just like Big Boy, except he's small. He is a shader. When you clean your brushes, you want to throw them in your cup, tap them on the side, dab them on your paper towel. Okay, make sure your bristles are wet but not dripping. Alrighty, so I'm going to um, put you guys in my handy dandy holder. And um, I don't know if you guys are commenting or not. I don't see <laughs> anything. Uh, but, you know, it'll probably all bounce in at once. And <laughs> that's the way it goes. Anywho, so let me put you in the handy dandy holder. Let's fix this so you guys can see the whole thing. All right, so we are, I am working on a 16 by 20 canvas, so, um, hold on, I gotta, I don't know why I'm not getting your comments, nope, that's not what I want to do, sorry, I'm trying to see why the comments aren't showing up okay oh there they are all right cool beans okay i'm getting them hello 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 cindy how you doing sweetheart okay because i i'm not very good at pressing buttons so um there you go <laughs> i'm working on 16 by 20 canvas 16 this way 20 straight up and down if uh as long as you're working on um you know, in the same area that I'm working in, if you're working on something different, then you're going to be fine. I can't show you both at once what I'm working on and the actual painting. So if you need to take a screenshot, please do so. All right. So you'll be all set to go. Uh, your comments are coming in now, which is very cool. So I got Cindy hanging out with us. Hello, 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 Cindy. How you doing? Tom is here. Hi, Tom. How are you, sweetheart? Jasmine saying hello. Hello, 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 Jasmine. How are you doing tonight, love? We got Debbie in the house. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Tina B hanging out with us. She didn't get stuck in her garden tonight. <laughs> and Cynthia. Hello, 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 Cynthia. How you all doing? So, uh, I just want to remind you guys that all my videos are uh, kid-friendly, so I'm going to try to watch this thing, and you guys try to watch your comments, and uh, I went with uh, purples tonight, guys. <laughs> those of you, howdy, Gloria, those of you that have been, uh, you know, supportive of my new makeup hobby, I did a um, pinky lip because it's spring, and... I went with the, the purple the purple eyes. So, there you go. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gloria. I appreciate that. Um, now, my, now the comments are taking up my whole screen. I don't know what that's about either. <laughs> Gotta love Facebook. They're constantly changing stuff. Anyway, thank you, guys. Um, all right, so there is your painting. And uh, we'll get this party started. So... Looking at your painting, you want to look at, um, you know, what colors are you going to be doing, right? I My color combination is purple, yellow, and pink, but you don't have to do that. If you want to do different colors, you can totally do different colors. You don't have to do a white dress. You can make your dress any color you want it. 
So, but depending on what colors you're choosing for your painting, you have to pay attention to your background. Now, I picked a purple background because that's opposite yellow on the color wheel. So, I did the purple background. This way, my yellow really pops off of the canvas. So, just pay attention to that if you're going to play with different colors, which you know me, I totally support going rogue. Go rogue, go rogue, go rogue, go rogue. Yes, yes, go rogue. <laughs> Hi, Diane. How you doing, sweetheart? <laughs> How you doing, lovey? <laughs> oh, you were uh, you were meditating, and you got all sorts of things to uh, to uh, coming into your brain. So, um, like I was saying, just whatever colors you're picking, you know, make sure your background, make sure your colors aren't going to get lost in your background, and make sure that um, you know. You're going to have something that looks good with each other. So I just want to give you that heads up. And, um, all right. I'm sorry. I got to play with the button again. I'm not really, my comments are taking up. There it is. I found the button. <laughs> You're, uh, hi, Craig. How you doing? Um, your comments were, um, taking up my whole screen. And I wasn't sure why that happened either, but. I found the button. You know me. I just love buttons. <laughs> Thank you so much, Craig. I appreciate that. So, Craig is in the house. Everybody give a warm Eve's Creations family. Welcome to Craig. He's a newbie. So, we love the newbies. We love the watchers. We love the painters. We love the creepers. We love everybody. So, just remember that. And if you don't know what a, a creeper is, it's somebody that's uh, watching, but not saying hello. Butters, you can't be in here, sweetheart. Okay, come on, out. Out. <laughs> I stand in this little tiny corner right here, and Butters has decided to stand in here with me. That's not going to work. He had, a, he had to vacate the premises, but they're doing the boom boom, so he doesn't know what to do with himself. All right, you guys ready, Freddy Spaghetti? Here we go. Here we go. It's the old mighty blank canvas. Oh, it's so scary. But we're going to hit it with our old mighty brushes. I am... Um, you're welcome. Uh, I'm starting off with a soda night. my diet soda and you know how we roll we're going to do the whole background first because we're really smart and we know all about mapping and all that fun stuff so we're going to start with the background first so i got big boy in my hand and mine is purple so i'm going to grab my red and it made a mess right here so let's just continue the mess and my blue and some uh white Okay, mix that all together, and let's see if I get a purple, and I do, it's like a periwinkle almost, it's really pretty. My red just wants to like attack everything on this palette right now, you notice it? It's just going everywhere. I'm going to add a little bit more red to this. Alright, there it is. Alright, all messy on my brush, so I get some separations of colors, and straight up and down guys straight up and down right and you guys know if you want to keep that separation of colors you just stick and move if you want uh if you want it to be all smooth and blended then you want to turn around and um keep brushing over it and you will get it all smooth and blended and one solid color it's really personal preference that's what it is it is personal preference Yes, it is. Yes. So, I have a show tomorrow. I've been loading my car up um, in between the raindrops today. It's kind of, uh, you know, that warm. We have, we've we had warm, sticky weather the past uh, couple of days. So, we're getting the, um, the uh, you know, the rain that kind of just rolls in, rains for like five minutes, and then rolls back out again. So, uh... I've been loading my car up in between 
the raindrops. And of course I didn't mix enough paint, so I have to mix more. <laughs> and hopefully, hopefully I get something close to the same color as I had before. I don't know. Who knows? And this red is all over, so we're just going to put it in there. Thanks, Tina B. Yeah, it's in uh, Tuckerton, New Jersey, and that's what it's called. I have to grab uh, more red paint, and I keep getting these little spots on my canvas, which you see me removing. It's really easy to remove um, a spot. You just take your brush and kind of swipe it opposite of what you're painting, and... Um, you can remove uh, anything that is, I grab more red, um, anything that is uh, on your canvas that shouldn't be. Butters, Butters is under my feet, y'all. <laughs> I told you about my little corner, right, that I'm standing in. Can you see, hold on. Do you see who's in the little corner with me? Look, do you see who's in the little corner with me? <laughs> Can you see him there? Earthquake! <laughs> yeah, he's hanging out with me. He's in the little corner, too. <laughs> he, uh... Yeah, he wants his, uh, his mommy. Hello, 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 Gracie. How are you doing, sweetheart? Yep, how are you doing? Yes, too blue. Too blue, Tina. I had to get more red. Yeah, he's, he's a little scared. He's a little scared pup, so he's right at mommy's feet. That's okay. I just gotta be careful I don't, uh, I don't step on him. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be the first time, that's for sure. Okay, guys, so when you're putting this on, make sure that you're uh, getting nice thin layers. Right, because we're going to have to paint on top of it. So you don't want to have your background super, super, super thick. You don't want to have your background super thick because it won't dry. It won't dry and uh, you won't be able to paint the uh, background on it. So you want to make sure that you're pulling it nice and thin so this way it is uh, nice and dry for you okay so I just this this canvas is really thirsty it's really thirsty I gotta mix some more I gotta mix some more that's okay though we'll see uh, we'll see if I uh, nope that's too light I'm just making a mess now. We're just going to make a mess. I Because the blue and the red and everything, this whole part of my palette's just going to be purple. That's all there is to it. <laughs> because I need to make a mess. <laughs> the whole palette's purple. Is what it is. Is what it is. There we go. Alright, so. Got to make sure uh, we get this background on. <laughs> And make sure we get this background on. Diane saying, poor guy, I have a dog that was, aw, oh, poor little guy. Yeah, yeah, I know. I get the fireworks here, too. We got, uh, we got, uh, some pyromaniacs where I live. So, um, so I got a chunky something right there. So I'm just going to swipe across, and you get it on your brush, and then you just want to wipe your brush off. So you just want to wipe your brush off. That's all you want to do. And you get rid of whatever little chunker, chunker piece that happened to uh, get into your paint. So I have this whole big purple mess here. So we're going to turn around. And finish this up. I should have enough now. And uh, if you're ever if you're ever color mixing, right? It's um, 
Now, I've been mixing colors a long time, so I'm pretty good at matching up my colors. Not too bad, you know. Um, so, if you wind up um, with a, a color that's different than what you started with, if what you started with is still wet, you can easily just blend the two together by just going through it. If it's dry, you're, uh, you're a little... Um, there's not much you can do but repaint over it. So um, just keep that in mind. Uh, unlike what I did, you always want to make sure you mix. There's like a star one piece right there. You always want to make sure you mix enough for yourself. So this way, as you're filling in, as you're doing a large area, you don't have to worry about color matching because you have enough paint. Unlike me, who always says that, I always tell you guys to do that. <laughs> and I don't listen to, how many of you don't listen to your own advice? <laughs> That's me. And look, my bangs are up because um, it's going to be chop, uh, it's definitely chop time. But um, I have to uh, do my donation a chop too, so um, I'm trying to. Uh, I'm, I'm holding off chopping my bangs to actually let a professional do it. How about that, right? Hello. How about actually letting somebody that knows what they're doing cut my hair instead of me cutting my hair? Because you guys all seen that. That always comes out great. <laughs> all right. Whew, that took a lot of work, but we got the uh, we got the background on there. We did it. We did it. Six thousand percent. We're working with some uh, background going on. Yes, we got it going on. All right. So that being said, um, take a minute. I'm gonna let this dry a minute. So. Let me do some roll call. Let me get myself situated. Butters is situated very nicely in this corner. He's laying down. <laughs> oh, the poor little buddy. It's all right. I don't mind. I don't mind. I just got to be careful. He found himself a nice little spot to uh, to relax in here. So he's all right. <laughs> I just can't believe he's literally parked right where I need to be. <laughs> like, you can't get any more closer up my you-know-what's-its. Kid-friendly. Kid-friendly. Kid-friendly, Eve. <laughs> um, so... Hi, Carolyn. Nice to meet you from Logan, Ohio. Everybody give a warm East Creations family. Welcome to Carolyn from Ohio. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our dress on there. Right? So, now... My dress came out shaped the way I'm shaped, right? So, that's the way I'm shaped. That's the way my dress came out. But you can do your dress shaped any way you want to. You just got to make sure you give a waist area. And then you give, um, you know, you can go straight down if you want to. Whatever you want to do. Or um, also, you know, you want to be able to span it out. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, take white paint. I'm going to take white paint. <laughs> Thanks, Craig. Alright, we're going to take white paint. I know, I'm getting there. I have to let this dry a little bit more. So let's do a roll call, make sure I didn't miss anybody. I've got Cindy, Tom, Jasmine, Debbie. Tina B, Cynthia, Gloria, Diane, Craig, Gracie, and Carolyn hanging out with us tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, whew, what we got to do is find our center. Om. 
we find our center. Diane's going to be painting, meditating frogs and pyramids because she was doing her hot yoga today and meditating. So let's find our center. Woosa. Okay, middle of the canvas. Middle of the canvas. And I'm going to take big boy. I'm going to take big boy. I'm gonna, I got a clean big boy. We got a swirl tap dab. Um, big boy. Sheila's here from Cali. Everybody say hello, hello, hello to Sheila. We got newbies in the house. We have Craig, we have Carolyn, we have Sheila. Make sure we all give a nice, warm Eve's Creations family welcome. What? So, I'm going to swirl tap that big boy. My water looks really cool. It reminds me of um, the, the grape Gatorade that I like to drink. So, swirl tap dabbing uh, big boy. Getting him nice and clean. The more you swirl, the cleaner he gets. And I want to take my white paint, just a little bit, and we're going to find our center, and mark our center off right there. And from your center, we're going to swoop, people. We're swooping. So we're going to swoop this way, swoop, and we're going to swoop this way, swoop, just like that, just like that. And then you want to turn around and you're just going to swoop outwards. You're just going to swoop outwards. It's all you're going to do. You're just going to swoop outwards on the bottom of the canvas here. So, um, I got a surprise for you guys tonight. I uh, finished the painting that we're going to be doing uh, after the uh, mountains and the ocean that are next week. Um, I finished the painting that we're going to be doing for after that. I already posted a how-to for it, so you got a little bit of a hint of what's to come. You got a little bit of a hint of what's to come. So, if you notice, my purple is still a little bit wet. I'm getting a little purple action going on in here, but it's, I don't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Right now, I am just getting the bottom shape of my dress put on. And I could, I'm could. i going to go back in. And we're going to be at... Now, I swoop this right off the canvas. It's up to you. You can swoop it any way you want to swoop it. But I'm swooping right off the canvas. So, if you want to leave it to where you see the bottom of the dress, you can turn around and leave it. And not swoop as far. So it is totally up to you. It's your dress. It's your creation. You swoop it any way you want to swoop it. You can swoop it any way you want to swoop it. But I'm swooping right off the canvas. And notice I am staying in the direction of what the dress is going to be. Notice I'm coming here and I'm swooping outwards. All my brush strokes are the way the dress is going to be okay so <laughs> you love surprises awesome so i gotta grab more white paint and now on the top half of our canvas on the top half we're going to do the um the torso and the the uh, bosom area and uh i don't know i don't know what to call it and stay kid friendly <laughs> So we're going to go with bosom. <laughs> All right. So to do that, right, because when you do this, you want to leave room for your hanger. You want to leave room for the veil coming out on the hanger. So I'm going to do a straight line up in the middle of this area right here. Okay. And this, this line should be half of this. Okay, because remember when we did our silhouettes, the rule of twos, right? The head, which we don't have a head on this. And then um, two is the torso, four is the leg area. So we're going to do backwards. So this is half of this. Okay, so if this is, say, the size of my brush, then this should be half of my brush. Good help if I got my arm out of the way. Okay, so that's how you make it look proportional 
And once I have that line in, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to do um, a scoop for the neck. Okay. And I'm just going to uh, blur this line out a little bit. I'm just going to blur that out a little bit. Okay, so a scoop for the neck. Because the veil's going back there anyway. Okay, once I have the scoop for the neck, I'm going to come on down, go out a little bit, and come back in to form my waist. All right, and the same with this one. I'm going to start here. I'm going to come down. I'm going to go out a little bit, come back in. And there is your torso area. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, guys. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, just like that, and the more you play with it, the bigger it's going to get, so just keep that in mind, all right, so the more you play with it, the bigger it's going to get, so I am just pulling nice and softly, running that into my dress, and there we are, just like that, we have our dress. Okay. Now we're gonna take uh, tiny. We're gonna take tiny, and we're gonna draw in our hanger. Now you can make your hanger any way, any color that you want, but we're gonna draw it in with uh, white paint for now. So at the top of the dress is our hanger. Okay. So we're going to draw that in with white paint for now so we can turn around and get where our sleeves are going. All right, so I'm grabbing tiny, I'm grabbing white paint, and I'm going to go across. So at the top here, I'm going to go uh, across. So I'm a little bit further down than the top of the dress, okay? close up a little bit further down than the top of the dress so I'm going to go across that way and then I'm going to skip over my sleeve come out this way skip over my sleeve come out a little bit this way and then I'm going to draw the triangle part on either side So we're just going to pull the triangle part on either side here. Make sure that these two pieces are the same angle. And we're going to bring that all the way up and in to the top of the hanger. And if it's not looking right to you, you can always turn around and like fix it again because all where this hanger is, is going to be the veil. So if you need to fix it again and kind of make it a little more smooth, right, because now I'm rounding the edges of the triangle. And if you need to, you know, if you kind of messed up with your angles and it's not looking right, just soften it out. Just soften it out with your finger, right? Say I completely messed this up, right? So I'm going to, uh, hello, Carolyn. Uh, I'm going to soften this out with my finger. I'll lower it in a second, sweetie. Um, okay, because that's where my veil's going to be anyway. See, that's where the veil is. So I can completely soften that out if I messed it up and try again. No worries there. OK, 
Okay, I lowered the music, Carolyn. I hope that's better for you. Okay, so I'm gonna put my uh, now. I'm gonna put it back in. I'm gonna put it back in. I didn't. I didn't mess mine up, so I'm gonna redraw it where I had it. But if that, that's just a little trick for you, if you kind of messed up your angles with your hanger, you can just soften it out and try again. Okay, six thousand percent. It's a little, just a little trick for you. You know to make sure that you have this right <laughs> thank you Craig um, okay so the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring this up here I'm gonna connect these two things I'm gonna connect those two things you're welcome Carol is that better sweetheart um, and I'm gonna do a line up and then it was a heart so I'm gonna go that way and come out and go this way and it was a heart on top of the hanger okay so after that's all said and done I'm gonna turn around and bring my sleeves I'm gonna bring my sleeves to the top of the hanger So I'm going to put in very white the sleeves to the top of my hanger. Okay, and then I'm going to do the sleeve on the other side. Now I'm just painting like this so you can see what I'm doing. You guys can obviously hold yours like a pencil and draw your sleeves in the way you need to draw your sleeves in okay I'm just doing this so you can see what I'm doing that's why I'm uh, holding my brush a little bit weird but I don't want my hand to get in the way of what I'm showing you All right and bring this down fill this all in with some white 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 Okay, and then I could put my scoop neck in. And I'm just going to soften underneath the scoop neck for now. And there is the top of your dress. Okay, so, okay, good, Carol. I'm glad. All right, so there is the top of your dress. And uh, this one actually came out better than my original one. <laughs> Because you see the shape of my original one, like I said, it's nice and uh, voluxum like I am. <laughs> Cause I, I got I got pudges, I got pudges. So uh, this one uh, is a little for a little more slender bride. Okay, I'm gonna pull you guys out so you can see the whole thing. I'll give everybody a chance to catch up mustard time. Cause that uh, you know we had to uh, think a little bit. So we had to take a break from all that thinking. So catch up, Bustard. And I got Carolyn and Sheila and Cindy and Tom and Jasmine and Debbie and Tina B. Cynthia, Gloria, Diane, Craig, Gracie, and Carol. Carol is here, guys. So. That being said, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to map in the doves. Now, if you hung out with me on Tuesday, I did a whole how-to Tuesday on how to paint the doves. So, we're going to follow exactly what I did on Tuesday. So, you're going to need your small brush. You're going to need tiny. You're going to need clean white paint. And we're going to put our doves in. So, I don't know if I could show you both at once. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Okay, so there is our dove that's going on this side. So, I'm going to take my tiny brush out again. And we're going to need Mini Me. 
to color it in. So I'm going to get Mini Me ready on deck here. And I'm going to give you guys a close up. Close up. Close up. Alright, so I'm going to give you guys a close up. There we go. There's the two. Let me move you over a little bit so it's more straight on. Okay, so this is what we're drawing, and we're drawing it right over here. Alright, so I'm going to grab my white paint. I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to swoop. So he was kind of an S-curve. So we're going to swoop him in. And then I'm going to come off of here, and I'm going to go on this side and connect this there. And then on the other side, it's rounded, so I'm going to come off of here, and I'm going to just pull it nice and rounded like that. Then the one wing is coming out from the top of his head, so swoop, swoop the wing that way. His head is pointing down a bit, so I'm going to pull on this. and round out the front of his head. And then the other wing is right here. So that's going to swoop this way. Swoop. Just like that. And then his tail feathers. The long one is in the middle. And then you want to swoop the shorter ones Just like that. Okay? So, now I'm going to switch to Mini Me and we're going to color that in. But I'll give you a chance to draw it in the way it needs to be. And I'm just grabbing Mini Me and I'm going to grab my white paint and I'm just going to fill it in. So his wing going this way, I'm going to just pull and put in the white. I'm not going to make it that big because I'm going to come in later to uh, do all the little details. So for now, I'm just putting some white paint on there to give myself an idea of where the wing is going to be. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to round this down and then they start to go outwards so I'm just giving myself an idea of how that wing is going to go okay And this arches, they get smaller as they get to the tip, okay? So there's it arches there. I'm going to fill in his body. Okay, so now all I'm doing is coloring. That's all we're doing is coloring. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, guys. And I call this fill and fix. So if your shape was a little off, as you're filling it in, you could always do a little fixie, a fixer roo, a little bit of a fixie roo going on there as you're filling it in. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now I'm going to do uh, his tail feathers. Okay, just fill in that area. And there you have the general shape of your dove. All right? Then the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to put, uh, take a little mini break, right? Because that took some, uh, that took some thinking. So I'm going to take Big Boy and I'm going to put the second coat of white on my dress. Right? 
before we get to the other dove, which takes thinking, right? We got to take a think break every once in a while and uh, work on something else that isn't, uh, isn't uh, paying, you know, like you don't have to pay attention as much. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to do the second coat of white. I'm going to use the side of my brush to do my outline so I stay in my lines as best as I can. Because you guys know that's not a strong suit for me. So I'm taking my brush and I'm doing the outline. And then this way, when I put in my second coat of white... I stay in my shape. So we're going to do the second coat of white. And um, I'm going to show you guys the deal with the flowers because if I'm uh, going a little slow, you guys, this has flowers upon flowers upon flowers on it. And each one is individually painted. So, uh... You guys, I'm not... Oh, thank you so much, Bonnie. Hello, 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 Bonnie. How you doing, sweetie? So, uh, Bonnie just reminded me. It's always free to watch. Tips are appreciated. Stars is enabled. They're uh, a penny each, so you know what you're spending. And uh, my PayPal link is up here somewhere. And um, PayPal, Venmo, or Cash App. So, uh, our supplies aren't free, people. <laughs> Thanks, Bonnie. You're such a sweetheart. Hello, sweetheart. How you doing tonight? All right, so and now remember that purple that was coming through and I wasn't worrying about it because as I go in, now that this is all nice and dry, as I go in here, it's going to cover that right up. And again, I'm filling in so it is the shape of the dress. Okay, we fill in doing our brush strokes in the shape of the object we're painting. All right, so anybody notice that when I made my lines to stay in the lines, I kind of made a new line <laughs> oh, that I didn't turn around and uh, stay in my, uh, <laughs> I made a new line. <laughs> like this is a little bit bigger over here now. <laughs> oh, it's all good though. All right, so I'm going to fill this in white. We're going to fill this in with the white. And then I am going to put in my stripes of color that are in the dress. So then this way, if you guys are waiting on me to do something, like when we do the next dove, you can turn around and just start painting your uh, flowers in there. Okay, so let's do our stripes. So I only have white on my brush, so I'm going to go right into my yellow. And my white on here is wet, so it's already going to do the, the, the white with yellow thing that we have to do. And I'm going to come right below the waist, and I'm going to put my brush here and make a point, and I'm going to pull. That's it. So we're going to uh, swoop. We want to leave that little point up here. So you start at that point and then you swoop. Swoop. Just like that. And then you could fill it in. Okay? So then you could fill it in. Okay, then the next uh, part that's yellow is right in the center. I'll find my center of my dress right here and put a point and then swoop out. Put a point, swoop out. Just like that. And remember, leave space because there's another line of color between this one and this one. The pink is in that, that line. So leave a little space unless you're only doing like three, three pleats of color. I want to make sure you leave enough a little space. So I'm going to start with my point, and I'm going to swoop. 
swoop, and swoop, and there it is, okay? So my yellow is on there, and then I'm going to swirl tap dab my brush and put my pink on there. And this way, you guys can start all your little flowers, which I'll show you once this dries, you can start on all your little flowers. And I'm going to show you how I made the flowers. I'm not going to turn around and, and draw whatever amount that is, 500 flowers. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> That's for you guys to fill in. I will show you how I made the flower and what it looks like. But, uh... That's all on you this time because I already painted it, okay? <laughs> I'm not painting it again. Okay, I got to grab more uh, red and I got to grab more white so we can make the uh, pink. So let me do that. So I got my new red and my white right here. I'm going to grab some of this white. I'm going to go into my red. And I'm going to make my pink. Okay. Get the pink all loaded up. And we're going to sneak these in here. Okay. So, and my, see the, see the edge of my brush, how it's nice and flat? That's what you need to do. You got to make sure that your brush is in the shape that you need it to be in. So you can make your points up here. Okay? If your brush is in a hundred different directions, guess where your paint's going to be? In a hundred different directions. That's right. <laughs> and we don't want that. So I'm going to swoop my pleats in. And fill those in now. Okay? And then this way, as you're painting, you can turn around and add all of the flowers that you want to your dress. So, this is dry, so I'm going to show you the flowers. I'm going to show you the flowers. And then you can add them in here all you want. So, for the yellow, I did light purple and then purple on top of them. So you don't have to do white first. And then for the pink, I did uh, the white first and then the um, color on top of them. Okay? So the flower is really easy. It's a five-point flower. And I'm going to swirl tap dab tiny. And you want to start off with your lighter flowers first. And this way you can layer the darker ones on top of them. But just so you guys can see, I'm going to start with a purple flower. Whoops! Earthquake! So it's a five-point flower. So you make your dot. I have purple. Hi, April! And you're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And then you just round those out and I started with a purple flower because I wanted to show you and so you can see it what it looks like but when you add your flowers in you want to start with your lighter flowers first okay so it's just a very simple five point flower and then you round the petals out See? Just a little. So you do five lines and then round it out. That's it. That's it. That's the whole flower. Okay? And um, scroll tap to add my brush and I will show you with the yellow. So if you guys can see it with the yellow. So I'm going to grab yellow paint and a little bit of white. And again, it's five points, so make my dot. One, two, three, four, five. Round those out. 
and I'm making them a little big so you can see them. Obviously, on the original, they were smaller. So you want to start off with your lightest color flower first. So this way, as you're layering these, I'm going to do a pink one, and I'm going to show you. And you know, you got to let that. You're supposed to let this dry. Um, I'm going to do a pink one. So this way, when you do your lighter flowers first, you can go in one, two, three, four, five, and you can layer on top of them without having to worry about doing any white paint or anything like that because it is darker than the one you're painting on. So after your lighter flowers dry, then you could add the next lightest one, which in my painting is the pink, and then you could add the purples on top of that. And that is how you would do your flowers. And then once they all dry completely, you're just going to put the center in which is a white dot and then if you want to you can go back in and color some of the white dots in with a color but that's up to you that's up to you how much you want to get into this painting so if you see my purple flowers I did a white dot but then the pink flowers I did a white dot and then I added yellow in the middle and with the overlapping flowers, which I did all around the collar and down into the bodice, um, notice my yellow one and then the yellow and then the, the pink is on top of that one. So you do your lighter flowers first and then you layer your darker flowers on top of that. Okay, so I have the yellow, then I did the pink ones, and then I did the purple ones. Okay, so that's what you do, and you let them dry in between before you layer the other color on top of them. <laughs> April, you had a dream about uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy, 6,000%. <laughs> that's awesome, hon. I'm in your head. I'm in your head. Da 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 da. <laughs> oh, I gotta love it. I love it. It's awesome. So, if you're waiting on me to show you something, you guys can paint your flowers and fill them all in wherever you want to fill them in. So, we're going to map out the second dove. And then I'm going to show you how to do the veil. And then the details on the doves. And we're going to be all set. I really won't have anything else to teach you. It's just a matter of filling in, like Tina loves them, all the little details. Yes, Bonnie, the hanger on the dress was a little tricky. So, 6,000%, um, you can watch that, because uh, you kind of added in with pieces, and then I showed you how to, if you messed it up, how to get rid of it. So if you messed it up, just smudge it out. Because that can be part of your veil anyway. So if you messed up your hanger, just smudge it out <laughs> with your fingers. And you could always add the hanger in later. <laughs> I have a lot to teach. That's okay. You were here on Tuesday, so you learned about the doves. Okay, so there is our dove. And we're going to be painting it over here. So, I am going to grab Tiny. I'm going to swirl tap dab on April. And, uh, show you the shape of our dove. So, this dove, we're going to draw a line at an angle. We're going to draw a line at an angle. Then you're going to go on this side, 
and you're going to go on this side and make a football. After that, the longest piece of the tail feather is in the middle, and you can do that at an angle outwards. And then I just add in lines to let me know how the tail feather is going to look. I could probably get you guys a little closer to this. There you go. Close up. Okay. And then the head is going to come out this way. And then swoop down a bit. So that would be your head. And then the one wing is kind of coming out the neck part here. There's the one wing. And this wing is coming out this way. So, that way. Now I'm going to grab Mini Me and color it in. <laughs> Tina B, you're glad you're not the only one whose head I have invaded. <laughs> I'm programming you all to do my will. <laughs> you guys crack me up. 6,000%. <laughs> all right, so, mini me, let's color. We're coloring now. We're coloring. That's what we're doing. Coloring, coloring in our bird. And you can fill and fix if you need to fill and fix, right? As you're filling this in, if you need to fix something, if it's a little wonky, you can always fix it. As you're filling it in. Like my body's a little too skinny, so I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. put in where this wing is going to be so it's going to make an arch that way so I'm going to fill that all in we're going to fill that all in following the uh, arch that the uh, feathers are making right because they get shorter as they get to the top okay and then I'm going to put in the arch of the other feathers, so they get shorter as they get to the top. Fill that all in. Just using uh, Mini Me and just going in the direction that the feathers are going in. Okay, fill that in. And then fill in our tail feathers. So this is only layer one, guys. So you don't have to, uh, you don't have to fill this in perfect. I'm, and I'm just rounding the edges on the tail feathers here. They're going to be rounded. Okay, and then we're going to come back and add the shading and do our, our shading and, and details and everything else on these guys. Okay, so that being said, I'm going to grab Mr. Nifty. And those of you that don't know about Mr. Nifty, if you send me support, I send you out Nifties for free. They are a small tip brush that does the details amazing. So, when you send me support, just make sure I get your address. And with Mr. Nifty, I'm going to add my beak. So, I'm going to follow along the head here and then do the beak coming out from that. And then I'm going to put my ribbon in. And I just pushed down on Mr. Nifty to get that flare out. So I started with a light touch, and as I work my way down, I'm going to push on him. So light touch, 
And then as I work my way down, I'm going to push on them. And I will get the flare out. Okay? And then since I have Nifty in my hand, we got to do that to the other guy. So let me um, fill that in on the other bird. So I'm going to do his beak. Follow along his head and then put his beak out. And then the ribbon, pull, push. Oh, I didn't have enough paint on here. So the ribbon is a pull and a push. Like that. And like this. So everybody say a prayer that my show tomorrow, uh, it is outside. Everybody say a prayer that I'm not going to get thunderstormed on. <laughs> I know, I know the man upstairs is uh, probably really busy, you know, keeping the stars aligned and the planets and stuff, but maybe, you know, we could just put in a little request that I don't get um, rained on tomorrow. That would be really nice. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to show you the veil, let our doves dry. And I'm going to show you the details on the doves. And you guys, you can all be working on your flowers right adding your flowers in adding your flowers in just keep adding flowers 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 okay we have Cindy is here Tom is here Jasmine Debbie Tina B Cynthia Gloria Diane Craig is hanging out with us tonight Gracie Carolyn, Sheila, Carol, Bonnie's here, and April, I'm in your head, I'm in your head, ha 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 ha, <laughs> okay, so, I grabbed a, um, thank you, sweetheart, I grabbed a, a mini-me that's kind of, like, fluffy on the edge, all right, for the veil. Okay, so it's kind of going to work like a fluffy, but it, it's going to be nice and small for me. So he's kind of beat up, and that's what I grabbed to do the veil part. So what you want to do is I'm going to take Tiny. I'm going to take Tiny and grab white paint. Hold on. This song is driving me crazy. <laughs> I don't know. It just sounds like a bunch of noise to me. It doesn't sound like music. <laughs> and now we're going to get a commercial. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Carol. Thanks, Tina B. So, Tiny with white paint. I'm going to come up to the top of the hanger and do the... Um, do the circle for her little headband ring that'll keep the veil on. So I'm just drawing the circle in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in Coming off of my hanger, I'm going to draw in the line of the veil, and then the same on this side. Make sure that they're even going across. Pretty good. Not too bad. And then cut in this way, and cut in that way. And I left this line in. Um, and they didn't soften it out because this way you can see the shape of the veil and then you know it's kind of like, uh, see, like it's like tulle or whatever fabric is around it. So I left that line in for all that. And now I'm just going to take a very small amount of paint. I'm going to dip my brush in the water and give it a tap, but I'm going to leave it on the wet side maybe a mini dab just to get the drips off of it I'm gonna grab a little bit of white paint like microscopic amount of white paint you guys see that 
and we're just going to fluff. We're just going to turn around and fill this all in and you can go past your line a little bit because it's fabric and it's going to be flowing and, and all pretty and you're just going to fill all of this in. That's why I said if you messed up your hanger to just smush it out because this is all veil. This is all veil in here. All veil. And see how I got a lot of white right there? That's because I didn't have enough water in my brush. But I can go in here putting water in my brush. I can go in here and I can smush that all out and around to soften it. Okay, and I can also take my finger and soften it out and just push it into the dress since my dress is white. Okay, so if you wind up with a really um, globby part of the white and it's not see-through for you, just add a little water to your brush, do a little mini dab, and then you could turn around and push it into your dress. If you're trying to spread it around and it's not really spreading around for you. And the reason it's not spreading around and uh, not being see-through is because you don't have enough water. You don't have enough water on your brush. And you could always take your finger and kind of push it in and that'll soften it for you too. So easy peasy lemon squeezy guys. Did you hear that April? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> Alright and then I'm just going to push this in with my finger and just like that we have a very soft veil. And then for the flowers on the veil I took tiny or nifty whichever one works best for you and white paint because my background's dark, and like I said, a dot, and you do um, one, two, three, four, five. Dot here, one, two, three, four, five. Dot here, one, two, three, four, five. And you just add these in however large you made your uh, veil, you know, so. And then you just want to round those out so they look like petals and not starfish. So I'm just going to scribble around them. And then once they dry, you can color them in any color your little heart desires. Whatever colors you guys are making. And I want to see everyone's pretty dresses posted. Uh, if you can't find it on the event page and you post it somewhere else, that's okay. I, I'm not going to get mad at it. <laughs> I will find all your pretty pictures one way or another. But I'm curious to see what color combinations you guys did. If you went with the purple, yellow, and pink, or if you did some different colors... Uh, when you guys did that one painting, the peacock, your color combinations were like awesome. You painted a German shepherd head for your friend and Mr. Nifty was your savior. <laughs> was your lifesaver. Nice. I like it a lot. Awesome, Bonnie. Okay, so I'm going to grab some white and some yellow and I'm going to paint in the headband here. So we're just painting in the headband and the center part of the hanger should be going through that. And I'm going to grab some of the red and the white and paint my hanger in. 
so this part is going through the halo and then this part is underneath Okay, and then you're going to go under the dress. I'm just going to grab some red so you can see this better. So that part's through the halo. And I'll show you a close-up in a second. Okay, and then this. And then over here on the other side of the dress. And the hanger is in front of the veil. Okay, see the one piece goes through it and the other one goes the other two pieces go around it. Okay? Okay, now we got to uh, shade our doves and paint in our ribbons and you guys are going to be all set. And then I get to load my car for the show. <laughs> it's all good. All right. Give you a chance to catch up mustard. I ran out of soda, so... Oh, I had an update with Butters. He's asleep now. He's asleep, nice and cozy in his cage. So, no more boom-booms. And he's relaxing. So, anybody that was worried about Butter stressing out, he's, he's in his condo sleeping. Got my seltzer. Okay, shading the doves. You guys ready? You guys did this with me on Tuesday, most of you. So I'm going to grab uh, Mini Me. I'll swirl tap dab them. And I'm actually going to use my purple paint. We're going to shade in our doves. So I'm grabbing the purple. And I'm going to come into the wing. I'm going to put my purple lines in and purple lines in over here. Remember our hat, right? So the purple lines in over here. And then I'm going to wipe my brush off, grab my white, and I'm going to put in my feathers with the rounded edges. Now what's awesome about Mini Me since he's flat, he's making all those curved edges for me. He's making those curved edges for me. I don't even have to work on it. He's doing them for me. And then putting our purple lines in, we already have our feathers shaded and we didn't have to work at it. So this is going right off of the canvas. So I'm just going to flick a flick. I'm going to flick a flick. And then I'm going to just pull with Mini Me and white paint. And he's making my rounded edge for me. So that is very cool. I don't have to work at it. And we're getting the shading in the feathers because we put those purple lines in beforehand. So we're not worrying about shading each feather in. We could just put the white with it and move on because nobody's got time for that. <laughs> nobody's got time for feather shading. <laughs> yes, Bonnie, a lot of work does go into setting up for a show. Hopefully... Um, Soon, my website will be completely set up to purchase directly from my website. And then, I won't have to do my shows during the summer because my sister and I have been doing the shows for over five years. And it's, uh, we're getting a little too, uh, we're getting a little too tired. We're getting a little too tired to do the shows. So, and I'm going to share my, um, so purple paint with white. I'm going to come under this wing and that's a shadow. 
I'm going to do it through my tail feathers to do our hack of what we learned on Tuesday. Now I'm going to grab my white paint and I'm just going to zigzag zoom guys. Just zigzag zoom with your white paint and add your, soften that shadow out that's in the body. Okay, and white paint with uh, the second coat on the head. Right, putting the one wing in the back. Then the white paint with the feathers. And as see, see this nice rounded edge, that's the brush is doing that for me since he's flat. You see that? So when I push on him and pull, he's making that nice edge for me. And I don't even have to uh, work at it. I don't have to go in with a smaller brush and round all my edges. Not that that's a big deal, but it's nice to uh, have a brush that does the work for you and you don't have to work at it very hard. So, um... There you have it. Then I'm going to grab Mr. Nifty and I'm going to grab some yellow and some red. Make a little orange. And do his beak. Scroll tap dab Nifty. To his eye. So since these guys were so small, I just did dots on the eyes. I didn't do a special eye like we did on Tuesday. Swirl tap dab my brush, grab some white for his little fussies. One there and one there. Kitty, ah, poor Ziggy, Tina, and I'm gonna grab some pink with Nifty and color in his ribbon. Color in his ribbon. Grab that orange. Color in his feet. And there we have dub number one. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, guys. So you guys got this. You painted, some of you painted them with me on Tuesday. If you missed that, the replay is available. But you guys can totally do this if you're just watching for the first time. I just did the ribbon. We got the ribbon, April. Okay. Oh, the ribbon heart. Oh, yeah. I only did that on the other one because um, because they were close together and they were connecting, and I could uh, I could put a heart. I could do the heart on the ribbon. Um, this painting didn't have the ribbon heart. It just had them holding the ribbons. But if you want to make a heart with the ribbon, I can. It's not. Um, what you can do is, let me grab Nifty and white paint. If you want to make a heart with these guys' ribbons, um, I would turn around and bring this piece in this way, this piece in that way, and then do the little bump in there. So if you want to make a heart with these ribbons, can do that and then of course color it in so I'll grab my red 
and I'll follow this piece all the way into here and then I would follow this piece all the way into here connect it and then do the bump in the middle of those two so if you want his ribbon to make a heart like I did on that other painting that's how you can do that <laughs> all right so we're on to our last of grab myself some seltzer let's shade this girl up and you guys are going to be all ready freddy spaghetti okay so i'm going to grab uh mini me and i'm going to grab uh let me put her feet in. I forgot her feet too. So let me grab Nifty with white first. Let's put her feet in. So you just put a line coming off from her body and three little toes. Three little toes, the little toes. And I'm gonna grab purple. I'm gonna put my purple in. Purple, 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 purple. Purple, 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 purple. Purple under the wings. Maybe a little purple on the tail feathers. Wipe my brush off. Grab my white. And like I said, this brush is doing the rounded edges for me, so I don't have to worry about that. And this wing is going to be a little darker because it's behind everything. So now I'm going to wipe my brush off and then grab white paint again. Do my swoops into my wing. We're swooping, baby. We're swooping. Swooping. Oh, yeah. Let's do the swoopy swoop. Just like that. And then the body. Zigzag zoom. Zigzag zoom. Shake a tail feather, shake a tail feather, oh yeah. Shake a tail feather. Shaking a tail feather, that's what we're doing. There it is, swoop, there it is, swoop, there it is. Mr. Nifty, some orange, yellow and red. Beaker. We need the beak. There's the beaker. And the yellow and the red. And there's the foots. We got the foots. The footsies are in there. And my ribbon. Let's make our ribbon yellow. Which I can do because I drew it in white paint first. So we can do the yellow right on top of that and since these guys are small I didn't do detail for the eyeballs I just put a dot so you just want to put a dot boop, lined up with the beak okay let me give you a close-up close-up she kind of got a gooseneck <laughs> gooseneck <laughs> oh, but that's okay <laughs> We got a goose snack. We got a goose. It's mother goose. She's bringing ribbons and stuff. <laughs> okay. So, and the rest, of, the rest of it, guys, is your flowers. Putting all your flowers in here. Putting them here. Um, you can color those in now. And you've got your doves and your ribbons and your heart ribbons and all of that good stuff that you want. No ducks tonight. We did gooses. <laughs> So, next, Friday, next Tuesday is how to paint um, daffodils. Next Friday, 
I don't need a how-to for this one because I've already done a mountains how-to. I've already done a clouds how-to. I've already done an ocean how-to. I've already done a foliage how-to. So I've already how-to'd the heck out of this. So this is Friday, next Friday. You guys are going to do awesome. Those of you that like more of the realistic stuff. And then, da -da 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 -da. you ready for your surprise? The following Tuesday is going to be how to paint butterflies. Because that Friday, once we do how to paint dandelions, did I say daffodils before? I might have said daffodils. How to paint dandelions, then it's the ocean painting. Then it's going to be how to paint butterflies because you guys da, 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 are going to be painting this. Which there's a nasty glare on it. There we go. You guys are going to be painting this on the Friday to come. So, there's your surprise. There's the next event. Sue likes the landscapes. Hello, 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 Sue. How you doing, sweetheart? And, um, so we're going to have a lot of fun with this. Uh, sneak a peek. Remember when we did how to wood? Remember when we did the how to for wood? Now you know where I got my background from. <laughs> Sue likes the landscape. She likes the realistic stuff. So there you guys have it. And, um, love it. Thank you, Diane. So, um, I'm going to show you guys how to do all the pretty little butterflies. Lots and lots of details. I'm going to show you how to paint the dandelions. Because I don't know who decided to call them weeds. I think they're pretty. So we got the dandelions going on. Uh, the I Spy, the wood. When we did the How To Wood uh, Tuesday. So those of you that have missed those How To Tuesdays, the replay is available on my YouTube. So... You guys will be able to, so the event's coming up. I got to uh, post the event. So the event's coming up uh, real soon for you guys to hit going and to share and all of that happy stuff. So you're going to be all set. And you're all set for tonight's painting. So that being said, I remembered my sign, Bonnie. <laughs> I'm going to say goodnight because I got stuff to do. <laughs> I love you all. I love my painting fam. You guys know that 6,000%. And thank you so much for joining me tonight. And thank you so much for the stars. Um, I really, really appreciate it. You all wore my heart. So um, if you're ever watching a replay and you have a question, just ask me. Everything is getting uploaded to YouTube. And um, the, the replays are on my page. I know they don't have titles. Facebook took all the titles off. I don't know why. But they are under the video link on my page. You can find them that way. You could do a little search. If you do a little search with the magnifying glass, you can find them that way. Um, thank you, Tina B. Uh, good luck with my show. Thank you very much. And um, I'm going to see you guys next Tuesday. How to dandelions. And then you guys seen the painting with the... Uh, oh, I don't have it up there anymore. You guys have seen the painting with the... Uh, the dandelion wispy things, right? You guys seen the painting with um, with these guys, right? And it's just like one of these, and then all the pieces are flying off of it. So, hi, Lisa V. Good night, sweetheart. Um, so I'm going to show you how to paint those, and these, and these, and that. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to paint all of them. So... You guys got this. Good night, Lisa V. Good night, Tina. Good night, Carolyn. Thank you so much for the stars. And I have Venmo and PayPal and Cash App. And anybody wants a brush set, get in touch with me. If anybody wants to purchase one of my originals, you can get in touch with me. Like I said, my website, 
this year, I'm going to put a this year timeline on it, is going to be set up to click to buy. So once that's all set up, I'm going to uh, be sharing the links with you guys and everything else. So 6,000%. Have a nice weekend, Diane. Yes, everybody have a lovely weekend. So, with that being said, <sighs> thank you guys for joining me tonight. Uh, you all warm my heart. And have fun and go create, okay? Good night, everybody.